Oh boy, Pokemon Legends Arceus is scheduled to be released in 8 days and the leaks are already wetting the floor in Geek Paradise. Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam and in today's video we're not gonna have a look at any leaks so don't worry about spoilers. Yesterday I posted an 18 minute video in which I went in depth about all confirmed but also speculated features in Arceus. Today we're gonna continue the speculation a bit more about how multiplayer will work and talk about the training post, training Pokemon with other players and what we can expect of the merit point system, what the rewards will be right here. So guys, let's get right to it. All right, so for the people who missed yesterday's video, go check it out. It is in the top right of the screen. I talk about pretty much everything you need to know about Pokemon Legends Arceus, both basics and also advanced mechanics, and even speculate about many things you should definitely check out if you're also looking forward to getting your hands on this bad boy. Anyways, let's get down to business. So the trading post is located in Jubilife Village, our base of operations pretty much where most NPCs are, which you can interact with. So at the trading post, you can exchange merit points for items and also trade Pokemon with other players. Trading Pokemon with others, man, that sounds so cool. I mean, obviously we need a feature like this. Some Pokemon definitely require trading in order to evolve. For example, a Scyther into a Scizor or an Onix into a Steelix. Would be so cool if you can do that online, but especially locally. So you can just trade with your brother or sister, get your hands on that Steelix right off the bat. So you don't have to have an online subscription and whatnot in order to get all those special Pokemon you really love to get your hands on. But that, my friends, is not everything. I mean, it is already kind of confirmed that we can also duel other people. We can challenge them for battle. So I am really looking forward to this as well. And also, if we have a quick look at Pokemon Legends Arceus on the Nintendo Store, in particular, the More Informations tab, we can actually see the supported playstyles right here. So basically, you can play docked on the TV, then you also have the handheld mode, but then also two different Joy-Cons right next to each other. The amount of players is one, amount of players online is one to two, so that is both the trading and battling others. But then we also have the local right there with exactly the same amount of players. So this basically means that you can probably use two different Nintendo Switch devices with different copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus to locally trade Pokemon with each other or challenge each other for a duel. I think this will be great fun for brothers and sisters or in general households with multiple Switches, multiple copies of Legends Arceus. But then if we look at the supported playstyles once again, we also see that single screen with two different Joy-Cons. How cool would it be if you could actually just have one single Arceus copy? You just play through the game, get your hands on a couple Pokemon, then you save it and you let somebody else play on your Switch with a different profile. In the end, after both getting your hands on a full team, you can actually use different Switch profiles on one single console to battle each other in one single session. I think that would be such an awesome feature in the game. Definitely let me know what you think about this. Honestly, I am not sure if it will work like this, but uh, it would be a really cool thing to also cater to people who don't have access to an online service or subscription or even can't afford multiple switches. I mean, that would make a lot of sense and I think it would be really cool if they actually implemented something like this. So now that we've got that out of the way, trading and battling with other people, you of course are also very curious about the merit points themselves. If you Google merit points, you won't find much, but um, big thanks to CoraMarketing.com for sharing this post with us. Pokemon Legends Arceus is scheduled to release on the 28th of January, and merit points are an essential thing in this game. If you're curious to know what merit points are, merit points are the unique currency available in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Players can earn merit points by training Pokemon with other players. In my speculative video yesterday, I also shared that I think it would be really cool if we can also get our hands on merit points when we do daily jobs, tasks and whatnot. I mean, it would make a lot of sense that they implement a feature which gives us an incentive to play every single day, every single week to get your hands on daily and weekly rewards. By logging in every single day, you can get some merit points, maybe also by doing some uh, daily tasks, for example, uh, save a couple Pokemon right there, and then also travel to this region. And after doing all those, at the end of the week, you will have an X amount of merit points. And that is also exactly what they share in this post. Also, most probably, merit points can be acquired by completing specific actions and requests. Until now, we only know this much about earning merit points. 
If you also have an idea how you can possibly get your hands on these merit points, definitely make sure to leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyways, now that we have our merit points, of course, you want to spend those to get your hands on some very awesome things. So I think the trading post will be some kind of vendor which will give you some pretty exclusive rewards to purchase, not just something which you can craft yourself or find in the wild. No, 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 no. I think the trading post will give you daily, weekly, or maybe even monthly rewards, very exclusive items which you can buy and will probably also refresh after an X amount of time. So this will definitely be an incentive for people to log in and play every single day to get their hands on daily and weekly merit points. But if we have a look at this very image, guys, I mean, you can see three different items hanging from the stand. And to the left, that thing is without doubt an egg. I mean, you see a little name popping up, probably also a price in a different language. But how cool would it be if you could actually acquire eggs using merit points to purchase those, get your hands on exclusive Pokemon, which are only accessible via the trading post. So you cannot really find them in the Hisuian region or out in the wild. I mean, if we also look at the flag right next to the trading post itself, it has a happy Togepi, which you cannot miss. I mean, say this week we could purchase a Togepi egg. Next week though, there might be one for Charmander. How cool would that be? I mean, we already know exactly which Pokemon will be available in the Zoe region. What the Pokedex is gonna be like for Arceus, but how cool would it be if they periodically add new Pokemon to the Hysteria region exclusively via the trading post? Of course, once again, an incentive to keep playing. I personally would love this to be in the game. Definitely guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Personally, I am almost certain that this is gonna happen. Also, if we have a look at the two other items, I can't really say for sure what they are, but um, the one to the right does look a little bit like uh, some kind of orange vest with two cores hanging down at the front. So you can possibly also get your hands on cosmetic items right here. Customization for your character. This is also something which I covered in yesterday's video. Make sure to check it out in the top right of the screen. But seriously, we basically talked about the fact that it would be super cool that every single week you can say buy some new kind of boots or a new scarf or a new uh, hat right here. So if you acquire enough merit points every single week, you can buy different variants of clothes. Say uh, first it's gonna be a red kimono, next week it's gonna be a blue one, and then maybe you will find a scarf, and if it's summer, you buy an Hawaiian shirt. I mean, once again, there are so many possibilities. Really looking forward to seeing exactly what kind of items will pop up at this vendor. Man, I am almost certain it is gonna work like this, and if we just continue the speculation, say the item in the middle, is uh, a pouch with some rare herbs. Say if you were it lucky with your shiny hunting, if you've been um, searching in the wild for a certain Pokemon for a couple days and you weren't lucky at all, you didn't find the shiny, maybe this pouch will give you an increased odds of finding shinies. I think that would be super cool. All right, that pretty much concludes everything I wanted to talk about for today's video. The training post, the merit point system, the items which you can get your hands on, and of course also the trading and battling with other people. Talking about items, I have a little bonus for you guys. So, well, this was kind of leaked, but it is not really sensitive information, so don't worry about it. Although we know that Pokemon trainers in Arceus may drop items upon fainting during their travels of the Hysteria region, there was actually a little leak that pretty much reveals how players can retrieve lost goods. Apparently, this mechanic is heavily inspired by the Mystery Dungeons series, and I think it's gonna be super cool if you can find items other people dropped by fainting or maybe you can find your own stuff back that would be really nice to see anyways guys be careful out there in the wild definitely make sure to let me know what i should make next this video really looking forward to doing a lot more speculation before the game gets released of course if you enjoyed watching this one definitely make sure to hit that like button as i spend a lot of time working on my videos and of course if you are new to the channel don't hesitate to subscribe as it is entirely free and there is a lot more coming your way i mean i can't wait to check out the game on its release. I'm gonna stream it all day, make a lot of content for it, which is definitely gonna be useful as most of it will be guides. Guys, big thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next live stream or video. Right now though, it is 4 am out. Till next time. Peace.